It's the M-O-P-O-W-E-R-Z, where knowledge is key. How are you all doing this morning? It's like one in the morning, and I cannot sleep because I have something on my mind. But first and foremost, I want to thank everyone that's tuning in to Mo Powers and the Mo Show Chicago. I tip my hat to you. And I thank you for all of your support, encouragement, and guidance from those who are wiser than myself. I thank you. But getting right to the point, here in Chicago, we having a very serious problem with killing one another. We talk about the police killing us. The police did not shoot 114 times at us, leaving how many dead? This is what I'm talking about. We're even killing babies now. White people, excuse me, white police officers are not killing three-year-old and four-year-old black kids as we know. They might be taking six-year-olds to jail in Florida and in Texas, but they're not killing them. And we seem to have a problem with all of this police murder, which according to law, Law enforcement should not murder innocent people. But as we know, we are not just dealing with regular law enforcement. We're dealing with Klansmen police. And then you have those who are in black skin but have a Klansman mind. They have a clandestine mind. Yet, we're killing and shooting one another more than what they've done in May. And why did I say May? Why did I pick that month in particular? Because in May of 2020, Chicago, according to the Chicago Sun-Times and the Chicago Police Crime Statistics, 332 shootings were reported in the month of May leaving 85 dead versus the lower number that it was in 2019, which according to the Chicago police statistics and the Chicago Sun-Times, there were 198 shootings May 2019, leaving 53 fatal. Do you see do you see the increase in that crime according to crime statistics by the Chicago Police Department they say overall crime has decreased by 20% shootings has increased by 30% and the fatality of those shootings has increased by 25% Now, I want to ask you young black men a question. Is the white KKK police doing this? You have people march around the entire country for this man, this brother by the name of George Floyd. Protests kicked off around the country. Not to mention the fact that there was neither this type of protesting when King nor Malcolm was killed. Not even Rodney King. But George Floyd got all of this attention across America, not only 
by black people, but white people, Chinese people, Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, everybody was out there. And yet, there's nobody marching for these babies that just got killed, that was killed by the hand of a black man whom that child would never be able to live its future or give the world its talent because a black man who looks just like him killed him. No KKK cop involved. It is not even safe to sit in your own house. One kid was shot while sitting in his house. The other kid was shot in the car. They were going for his dad. His dad got grazed by the abdomen area, according to the reports. But the son died at the hospital. <clears throat> West side of Chicago. Lawndale Avenue. Austin District. Lawndale District. Terror Town. These killings have got to stop. You all talk about disbanding the police or defunding the police, which I also said myself because of the injustice that was taking place. However, you all are doing a far greater job than those whom you are protesting against. How is it that you're going to protest around the world for a man that you saw get killed on television by a white law enforcement agent? Yet, one of your own kills babies, kills innocent people. There's no protesting for that. There's no marching for that. There's no burning of businesses for that. There's no humongous call for reform on that. If we don't reform ourselves, we're going to kill ourselves, be self-destructive, self-destruction, just as KRS once said headed for self-destruction, headed for self-destruction. Yet, you have all of these gang leaders. Why don't you all bring peace? Seeing that I can't bring you peace because every time I want to talk some sense into you all, you all want to pull a gun out on me. Just for trying to save your life, you want to pull your gun out on me. Just for trying to save your life, you tell me you better get the fuck on, old man. Sometimes I deal with these shorties and they hear what I'm saying. Other ones, the older they are, the worse it is. Straight up. The hardest ones to talk to are the old ones who just so fucking lost and who continue to show the young ones how to continue to be misguided, how to continue to kill one another, how to continue to sell drugs to your own people, killing your own people, how to continue to steal, rob, and kill your own people. That's what a lot of these old heads are guiding these young kids to do, and if you are not saying anything about it, you are complicit. If you don't say anything about this, you are complicit. It's sad. 
you had brothers like Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Huey Newton, Catherine Cleaver, Nikki Giovanni, Dr. John Henry Clark, Elijah Muhammad, Louis Farrakhan, Dr. Ben Johakonen, John Jackson, Mother Frances Cress Welsing, Marcus Garvey, even Frederick Douglass, Benjamin Banneker, etc., 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 W.E.B. Du Bois. All of these great minds, all of these great minds died for the cause and the upliftment for black people across the world, especially here in the U.S., and yet their death, according to what the world is viewing, witnessing, and seen their death was in vain. How about that? How about that? You got mothers screaming, talking about, we need the police out the school. Right now in Milwaukee, they didn't took the police out of the schools, according to the reports. And next year there would be no police in the school. And I think that was like, a. Uh, $500,000 budget. Now, if you take the Chicago police out of the schools and see what's going on right now, well, this is what you ask for. Where are the parents? Where are the fathers for of these children, of these young men? Are they in prison? Are they strung out on drugs? Are they tricking off? Are they dead? Where are they to guide these young men? Now, granted, I understand about the dysfunction of a black family. I understand that. Yet, someone has to pick up the torch, even if it's not your child. Talk to these young men that's in these streets. Your mother can't even come outside. <laughs> Your grandmother can't come outside. Your family members cannot come outside because young black men are killing other black men and young babies in the street of Chicago like never before. So... When all of this occurs, and if you agree with me on burning, on, uh, excuse me, on defunding law enforcement and disbanding the police, are you really ready for this? Seeing that you cannot control your own children. That's the problem. Cannot control your own children. Not only that. You had 21 shootings in Minnesota. You just had 39 shootings in New York City. You just had some shootings in Texas. I don't know about the fatality rate for those other states, but I do know the statistics for Chicago, where I'm at. And this is nationwide. Now, if it is here this way, regardless to whatever smaller numbers that they are in those other states, add all of those numbers up. Are you not killing yourself abundantly, <laughs> foolishly, stupidly? If you are not black power, you are black hate. And when I say black power, I don't mean that Black rules the world. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying half being proud and powerful, powerful within your own self and about your people. But sadly, a lot of people like my ancestors, 
those names that I just mentioned to you, they're rolling over in their graves or wherever they at. They're rolling over in their graves. In fact, one may even say that they like, damn, was I really proud to be black? Because according to what I see, black people are not proud to be, to be black. There is no black power. There is black hate. There is no black power. There is black hate. Last year, I made a video. You should go check it out. It is entitled, Is Black Power Dead? Last year, I made a video entitled, Are You Safe Where You Live At? Those videos can be found on The Mo Show Chicago, T-H-E-M-O-S-H-O-W, Chicago, on YouTube. Last year, and now we are in this year, even doing worse, even after the world has seen the derogatory manner in which white policemen kill us in America, hang us in America, and you with your foolish self are out there shooting and killing one another. Why should they care about not killing you? I disagree with something that Dick Gregory, Dick Gregory said. Dick Gregory said that ain't no man who had his pants hanging down killed Jesus. Dick Gregory, you are a lie because every time a black man kills another black man, he's killing Jesus. Dick Gregory, rest in power. Dick Gregory, rest in power. I disagree with you on that. Black men who walk around here with their pants down kill Jesus every day themselves. They kill their own saviors every day. They don't even support their saviors. As I stated, they even pull their pistols out on me telling me to move it on. But I'm still going to do what I do. Why they don't shoot me? Why they don't beat me up? Because they respect me. But they tell me to move it on versus shoot me. But here it is. You walk outside your door and don't say nothing to these kids. In fact, you ask them, what's up? What's going on out here, shorty? You know, you got your head on the swivel trying to see what's going on in the hood when you know that they are up to no good in the hood right outside your front door. And you don't say nothing. You can't even protect your own child, let alone protect your woman. You can't even protect your child. You would rather go to jail than raise your child. You would rather go shoot somebody in the street and go raise your child versus raising your child. You would rather go and sell some drugs versus raising your child. Now, granted, some people out there selling drugs who's taking care of their children. But if the shoe fit, wear it. If it don't apply, let it fly. Okay? It's a shame. All of our black leaders are gone. And this is the consequences of it. And those who helped destroy black leadership knew the outcome of this, seeing that we have played right into the plan of destroying our own self. And after showing the world that we have a cause for justice, we continue to bring injustice upon ourselves. How contradictory is that? Black Lives Matter doesn't apply to black folks. 
meaning black masculinity, Black Lives Matter, is a black gay movement. Okay? Let me repeat that. Black Lives Matter is a black gay movement for all of those silly black men who are out there marching, talking about Black Lives Matter, are supporting a black gay movement. And none of those monetary funds that was received or is being received by Black Lives Matter from George Soros, the black people whom they say that they are representing worldwide versus just homosexuals are not seeing any of those funds and will not see any of those funds because Black Lives Matter is not an all black movement. It is a black gay movement that's sponsored by a rich white dude who wants to make you gay. <laughs> okay? <laughs> it's sad. I have a granddaughter. And I pray to the universe that I don't have to go and murder a black man because he didn't kill my granddaughter. I don't have to do nothing to a black man because he didn't murder my daughter. I'm just saying. <laughs> what am I to do? What am I to do if the white police try to kill me? What am I to do when another black man is trying to kill me? It's sad that we have to look upon ourselves as an opponent versus being on the same team. When you're walking in the streets of Chicago, there was a time when they used to say, hey, how you doing? How you doing, sister? How you doing, brother? You okay today? How can I help you today? Not today. Everybody has this mean mug on their face like they want to do something to you. The hate in the atmosphere is so thick that you can cut it with a knife. And that's sad because here it is. Black people cry about the injustice. And the world is laughing. The world is laughing. And they always laugh at us. Because we always play the clown. And if we're not playing the clown, we're playing the hoe. And if we're not playing the hoe, we're playing the coward. Stop me when I'm lying. I know the truth hurts. Why you want to kill me? Because I want to save your life. Why you want to kill me? Because I want to keep you out of prison. Why do you want to kill me? Because I want to see you with a better life. Why do you want to kill me for that? Have you all been to a white community lately? Not a white neighborhood, but a white community lately? In fact, has anybody seen the latest shooting in the white community? Has anybody seen the latest shooting in the India community over there on Damon Street? Anybody? Anybody seen the shooting of the Chinese in Chinatown? Anybody seen the statistics of that in Chicago? Stop me when I'm lying. I'm beginning to see that my deceased 
physically deceased black teachers, master teachers, died for nothing because the masses of black people are programmed to kill themselves. If you cannot reform your attitude on how to save your life and the life of your children and the life of your neighbor and the life of your mother, your father, your sister, if you cannot find a way to do that, the world who already hates you will do it for you immediately. Immediately. So, I said that to say this. I don't want to hear any more black people in Chicago talk about the police killing them. Because this has made my soul upset. This has made my soul upset and it hurts me hurts me to the bottom and the inner core of my existence it hurts to know that we have become our own worst enemy we can talk about what happened on basketball and housewives and BT. We can talk about uh, Young Boy. Uh, we can talk about uh, all of these artists, all of these entertainers and what they doing. Will Smith, uh, you know, uh, Jada Pickett Smith and all of these. Oprah Winfrey, Bill Cosby. We can talk about them, right? And they're not doing anything for us, but we are doing something for ourselves. We're killing ourselves. And you wonder why the world is laughing. And you wonder why we are continue to be the most hated group in the world, not only because of white supremacy, but, we, but because we don't even have sense enough to have our own self-survival. It's common sense. We have no common sense to even stay alive or want to be alive among ourselves. We don't even like ourselves, that we would go out there and help white supremacy to kill us. Two for one. Two for one. Two for one. One in the ground, one in prison for the rest of his life, and the one that's in prison him was only one. Two birds and one stone. Or two birds with one bullet. Or a couple of bullets. It's ridiculous. Where is the nation of Islam? Where is... Huh? Who? Who? Ishmael, Ishmael Muhammad, where is Ishmael Muhammad? Seeing that he just may inherit the throne for the nation of Islam. Huh? That's right. Minister Ishmael may have just inherited the nation of Islam or being a national representative for the nation of Islam. Where are you at, 
Minister Ishmael, where are you at, Nation of Islam? Where are all of these real power? Where, where are you at, Black Panthers? Huh? Solomon's mind. Where are you at? I'm just saying. I'm not going to keep you all long, but you all think about that. It's M O P O W E R Z, where knowledge is key. And remember, it is your third eye that makes you shine like jewelry. Stop killing yourself. Stop killing yourself.